Shih Tzu and Maltese are two of the most popular small companion dogs around the world. At first glance, they may appear similar, but are poles apart from each other. Choosing between these two fluff balls can be a tough decision. So in this video, we will compare both breeds and find out which one's better for you and your family. Before we start comparing them, let's understand why they were bred. Our cute little Shih Tzus originated in Tibet and were kept as companion dogs. They soon became very popular among Chinese royals. Their only duty was to accompany their human companions. On the other hand, Maltese were also bred entirely as companion dogs. However, the exact origin of this breed is still unclear. Experts believe their birthplace could be anywhere from Egypt to the Alps. Size. The average height of Shih Tzus is around 9 to 12 inches at the shoulders, and they weigh about 4 to 7 kilograms, whereas Maltese are slightly smaller than Shih Tzus. They only measure 7 to 9 inches and weigh under 4 kilograms. Both of them are considered toy dogs and fit perfectly in small houses and apartments. Grooming requirements. Both breeds have gorgeous long hair that requires daily brushing and regular grooming. You will have to invest in some good quality canine shampoos and conditioners to ensure their coat remains soft and shiny. Their hair often grows in front of their eyes and limits their vision and even causes eye irritation. So you will need to take them to a professional groomer to trim their hair. But on the bright side, Shih Tzus as well as Maltese don't shed as much as other dogs. Vocal. Almost all the toy breeds are known to be high-pitched yappers. They all just love to bark at everything. And so is the case with Maltese. They just love to express their feelings by barking and whining. On the other hand, Shih Tzus bark less when compared to other toy dogs. So if you are getting a Maltese, make sure your family members as well as your neighbors can tolerate barking. Temperament. Both breeds are affectionate, loving, playful, and sweet-tempered. All they want is to spend as much time as possible with their owners. Maltese are known to be a little aggressive towards other dogs. They are very courageous. They won't hesitate to fight with bigger dogs, so proper socialization is a must. Whereas Shih Tzus are more docile and even-tempered, they get along well with other dogs and cats. So if you have other dogs or pets in your house, then a Shih Tzu will be a better option for you. Training. Both breeds are very smart, but both of them can be a little stubborn when it comes to training. So it is necessary to start their training as soon as possible. Shih Tzus are slightly more intelligent and they are more likely to understand and do complex tricks and tasks compared to Maltese. Exercise requirement. Maltese, as well as Shih Tzus, may not be super energetic, but they are reasonably active and they both need small outdoor walks once a day to stay healthy and fit. However, Shih Tzus are more prone to weight problems than Maltese, so daily exercise is a must in the case of Shih Tzus. Which is more expensive to raise? Both Shih Tzus and Maltese are relatively affordable to look after. They are small in size, so they do not require as much food as larger dogs. Apart from that, they are an overall healthy breed. The only main expense for both breeds will be grooming and vet visits. And it depends on you. You can spend as much as you want by buying fancy and unnecessary stuff like clothes, hairbands, and toys. But overall, both of them are fairly low maintenance. So is it a Maltese or a Shih Tzu? Let me know in the comment down below. And if you love Shih Tzus, then check out my channel. We have tons of Shih Tzu care videos. See ya!